I called in to work yesterday and uh, I was riding my old backup vehicle, a little old DJ5 DJ Jeep, and I got about two thirds of the way through my route, something popped in the rear end. So uh, I decided to park it and get some help to finish up. So now I'm uh, going to go gonna hook up the trailer and go get the thing and bring it and see what's the matter to it. So we'll be back with you shortly. Well, got the trailer hooked up. I swear I believe somebody been fooling with it because uh, I ready to hook up one of the safety chains and it broke. I gotta see if I can figure out how to fix that. And then we'll go get the Jeep. Well, I made it up here to get the Jeep. So, get him loaded up here and get uh, on the trailer and get him back to the house. See you later. Alrighty, we loaded up. We're ready to go to the house. Got a break these nuts loose first. Thing's supposed to have like between four and five hundred foot pounds of pressure on them. So best way to do it is with the thing on the ground in gear and uh, a whole lot of force. Side and knock it loose. Okay, uh, after I jacked it up, I went ahead and uh, backed off on the brakes. So now we pull the wheel off. Let's see what we got. Okay, brake drum looks good inside. This right here is what concerns me. Pretty much, pretty sure that's a bearing gone out over here. The other side's jumping up and down like that too. But this is the side I was hearing all the noise in. Okay, I'm going to stop you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tear the brakes down. I gotta take a metal line loose from the wheel cylinder and then I can get to the bolts that hold this backing plate on. Then when I take the backing plate off, that'll let me take the axle out. I'll be with you back with you when I get ready to pull the axle. Okay, I got everything loose now. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't get this axle out of here. Just like it.
right there is her nose. That bear is going completely out. There's poor dude there. So we'll do uh I'm gonna go ahead and pull the other side too. Then we'll go down to the uh, press because I gotta pull this hub off in order to put that bearing on. It's got a shoulder right there that it fits up against. So be back with you shortly. Okay, I got both axles out and had to go down to my press and uh, press these hubs loose. It, uh, this is the one out of the right side. I swear I lied, there's a key down there. Anyhow, had to press it and uh, This is the one with the bad bear. So now this right here is a seal on the outside. And then you got right there is the bearing race where the bearing come apart. Now this one's off the left side. And uh, it's uh I have for years had a problem with this side and hadn't had nerve enough to fix it. But, uh, the old bearing's good, but you see how that bearing walls around on that shaft? So, uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm gonna get it cleaned up here and I'm going to take a welder and build that up. And tomorrow, we're going to see if we can get the old lathe started and turn that back down so that bearing ain't wallowing around in there anymore. Then we'll put new bearings in her and put her back together and hope she'll stay put for a while. Like I say, see how shiny that is and how much it wore down right there? Been a little nervous about doing that. Don't know whether I'll put too much heat in the axle or not, but I'm going to try it and see what happens. So, I lied about keyway. There's a the key, and then it's got them splines there too that it fits up against. But, still had to press them off. Took everything the old press had in it to get them off, too. I'm uh, hoping one of these days, before too long, I'm going to build me a shelter off the side of the building there. Get that press up here so I don't have to walk so far to use it every time. But, uh, we'll talk at you later. Bye. Well. We're down here with my old lathe, and I'm going to see if I can get something going here to uh, been several years since I've used this thing, and uh, I didn't film getting the motor started on it. I got the old lathe. Fairly cheap. But, uh, the machine shop was getting rid of it, and they let it go. 
know the salvage price or thereabouts and uh, got a 480 volt motor on a three phase and uh, kind of hard to get free three phase down here in the woods so tore the motor apart and uh, took the windings out of it and the fan off of it and had room enough to put a pulley on and I made me a bracket back there on the back that uh, got 18 horse rigs and straps sitting on Be back with you whenever I get the darn thing started. Okay, we got him running now. I'm going to get over here and see if I can turn it back a little bit. got the darn thing turned it won't pretty oh, the way everything's been acting up so I'll be back with you shortly okay here's my axle I built up so uh, I'm gonna put her back in there and uh, I'm gonna pack the wheel bearings here the way this thing's made the, uh, they don't get the oil from the rear end up there to uh, get to the bearing. This high temperature disc brake grease. So seen a fella packing bearings on YouTube and he was a packing them from the narrow end but the proper way to do it is to get back here on this back side and you Just keep forcing the grease through them.
you get the grease of coming out like that right there all the way around you got a properly packed bearing thing I don't like about this, this is a mighty small wheel bearing to be riding around on. Jeep got the same rear end in it that Gremlins had in them. It's a Dana 15. And that's about as little as you can go in a Dana. This old thing here behind me has got a Dana 44 in it. That's one of your most common rear ends is or differentials. Okay, you got grease coming out all the way around now. particular style there and goes on this way. And I'm gonna have to find something to drive that stuff in. And what have I got? Yep. Turn you off a minute. This drift here is a hold over from my cotton mill days. It's, uh, out of a spinning frame is what the uh, bobbin set on. Here that thing gets solid like that means you got the bearing down all the way seated. one I just built up and turned. Oh, turned it too much. It's still tighter fit than it was. and I'd do better than that, but I didn't.
maybe it won't water as bad as it did though. Alright, I'm gonna turn you off a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this axle in. See if I can get this side built back up. We got to wait on another seal to get here before I put the other side in. So we got to put the backing plate on and see how tight we are. It's a little bit of shimming has to be done on this. And the book says that whenever you've got an axle out of it, not to turn the one that's still in it or else it'll uh, cause it to uh, gears inside to slip. this seal on it here. that wheel bearing. I still like to put a little extra grease in there. Well, I'm going to turn you off for a few minutes. Well, I found my boat and I got everything back together there. So, 
Got to go put the other side together, basically just putting the wheels back on, tightening up that axle nut. I lied about that axle nut the other day. It is supposed to be 250 foot pounds plus. So, uh, getting dark on me, it's going to be hard to record, so I'm just going to cut you off. We'll catch you later. Bye. This is the aftermath of working till dark 30. <coughs> And uh, being so dead blame tired that you can't move, but uh, just I had just left everything out, and uh, I finished up <coughs> about 7:30 last night, and temperature done got down below freezing, and. Uh, so, like I say, I just left everything till uh, uh, I get time to clean it up. But uh, I had to get it done last night because I had to work today. And uh, many old Jeep done been about 85 miles today. And I declare at rear end is uh, a whole lot tighter, it's just quiet as it can be. So the uh, thing I had read the book on it, I got a service manual on the old thing and it says on the rear end that uh, when you put the axles in, you're supposed to have about 8,000 in play in them. But I never had been able to get them down like that until I built up that axle by welding on it and turning on it. That made all the difference in the world with it. I just thought I'd let you know how things turned out. We'll uh, talk at you later. Give me a Thumbs up and subscribe if you like. I appreciate it. Bye.